I'm very excited and proud uh, to have the fellowship, but I think more important than the honour, I think, is the initiative itself, which I think is a very, very important one for women in science. To me, the fellowship is extremely important because after my break with maternity leave, I had to re-establish all my research. So it wasn't just the time out um, that I had um, looking after my children, but it was also the time that um, followed that trying to, to re-establish the work in the lab and then really get it up and running. So having that fellowship allows you to come back and really focus on the research so that you can um, work at becoming competitive again. After having twins, I found it very difficult. I had to take a long period out in scientific terms. It was over a year, which um, is much longer than most people take. And coming back has been uh, quite difficult to balance demands of having three young children and trying to work the hours that most people normally do in science, which includes long days and weekend work and evening work, which you just can't do when you've got that many children. So that creates a lot of instability because you're not competitive for external funding, but having a fellowship like this available to women in my situation, if you're awarded it, then it provides you with two years where you can just really focus on your research and getting the results and the publications out there and so then you will be competitive again. I think it is an initiative that's needed for anyone who's had a career uh, disruption. For example, you can uh, think of a circumstance in which a, uh, a young male scientist uh, has some family difficulties or has an illness that might keep him out of the workforce for a while. He, he faces exactly the same barriers and handicaps as do women on maternity leave. This is the first of its kind in Australia, but I I think we'll lead the country in encouraging institutions throughout Australia to introduce a similar fellowship. I'll be disappointed if that doesn't happen because it's desperately needed. There is a real shortage of women in higher or more senior academic positions in science. At the PhD level, probably 50% of the students are women, but when you get to level C, D, E, that falls away to say 20% or even 15%. So we're losing a lot of really talented women from science purely because of this difficulty of career disruption. The more initiatives like this, the more uh, we'll make the best use of a very valuable national resource. I hope that the fellowship will take away some of the barriers and handicaps that uh, people, particularly women, face when they have career interruptions. Science is a very, very competitive area. Research is extraordinarily um, competitive and so any little handicap is going to hold people back and if we can assist people by removing those handicaps then we can make the most of them, their careers and their skills for the benefit of us all.